Hi friends, it's Drayton. Welcome to my world. Took the fantasy for a little trip downtown, beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida, meeting some friends today at a, at a breakfast place. It's a little biscuit company. Let's go check it out. Destination is Maple Street Biscuit yes. Company. It's a setup where you have to wait for your friends to go in, so I'm just gonna hang out, wander around, see what's shaking until my friends show up. While I'm waiting for my friends, I'll show you a few things that I like about our, our downtown area. Vintage shops, Kava, kinds of eclectic, interesting places to shop and spend your money. Clothing, 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 clothing. A really cool popsicles shop right over there. We have the trolley system, which is always fun to ride. It's really cheap. I think it's 50 cents. Parking's cheap. Uh, I found my friends. The record stores are really great here too. Danny Cool Records, we got video guy out here. Taking some video. My name is Ricky Pilani. Say hi to Cali Corpus over there. Got those things over there for 50 cents. Records taste. DVDs, CDs. Now we're off to destination. I think. Greg, are you ready? Ready. This is this is Greg's game room. Hi, everybody. By the way. Are you ready for a fantastic ride? A fantastic ride. Are you driving? V fantastic. Oh, fantastic. I'm scared. I've never ridden in the van before. Oh, you got kites you mean back there? The Vantasy? Yeah, the Vantasy. Awesome. Well, friends, we made it. Our destination is the Dali Museum. I'm here with the Tampa J. Salvador Hi, everyone. Van Gogh. Greg's Game Room. Formerly Adventures by George. Formerly. Now Greg's Game Room. Go check them all out. Now let's go. Are you guys ready for this adventure? I'm ready. All right. Are you well, guys ready? It's his first time. It's, it's, all it's Greg's I've first time. I've never been. I've never been. First time. I don't know. Where am I? I'm lost. Well, we're going to find out. Serena. Bye, Greg. We have entered the Dolly. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Looks like it came out of the uh, ocean. Abby is going to explain what these are for. I'm Abby. I volunteered here at the Dolly. Right on. Well, how do these work, Abby? All right. These work uh, using the same touch technology that you use um, with your cell phone or uh, an iPad or other electronic gadgets. You swipe to the right or the left to get to the item or uh, gallery you want. Yeah, sure. We have two permanent galleries, or we have two galleries, and they're both on the third floor. This is the home page for the Renee Magritte Special Exhibit. This is the home page for the Dolly Permanent Collection. Whichever gallery you're in, simply tap the home page. That brings up a listing of the works of art in that gallery that have recordings. And then volume controls are on the side of the device. Well, thanks, Abby. I appreciate the information. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Tampa, Jay, I think you should maybe think about exchanging the hat. What do you think? I think a Tampa Jay logo on that like would be kind of cool. Yeah, put a TJ right there. Yeah. yeah. It's a good, yeah, it's a good album cover photo. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, Beastie Boys. <laughs> the Lamer Boys. Oh, it's so weird to move right here. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> here we go. How about this? We're setting up for the St. Petersburg Grand Prix. Next weekend here downtown, the Indy cars will be zooming back and forth right by the Dali Museum. So I'll put the 15-foot mustache. Oh, yeah. let's, let's go the other way. Walking on clouds. Walking on sunshine. There we there go. There we go. There, there we go. go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
Yeah. 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 Dolly's earliest works. It was only 14 when he made this. Well, you can see the, you can kind of see the brush strokes here on the side. A 13-year-old Salvador Dali painted this. So the painting behind me is a wonderful example of one of his new inventions. It's got a very interesting name. The name of this painting is, check this out, Gala Contemplating the Mediterranean, which at 20 meters becomes a portrait of Abraham Lincoln, a tribute to Mark Rothko. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, glad I quit smoking. I couldn't do it. Right, so. If you happen to have sunglasses, take your sunglasses out. Are you ready for a dream of Dali? I want to, yeah. Sounds like a dream meant for me. <laughs> this, this is a really VR. cool virtual reality experience. Dali painting with this virtual reality. Do you know that Dali and Alice Cooper were Did you know that Dali know and Alice now. Cooper were friends? Check it out. Dali has a lot of these interactive exhibits. They're very cool. This is the coolest, in my opinion. Jay, tell me what it was like to meet Alice Cooper. Inside of a Salvador Dali painting? Yeah. Well, it was surreal. Yeah, pretty surreal, right? Yeah, it was yeah. cool. The classical period started in 1940, and the way that it came about is that Gala, Dali's wife, said to him, You see the shadow under his body right there, right? Well, the reason why I put it that way is it's really more like the painting that I removed the dog and left the spots, right? Now, this is another very famous image. It goes back to German psychology. And He's making me kind of hungry. Oh, yeah. Seafood. Yeah. 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 You guys want to know how many steps there are? Jay, do you know how many steps there are? We just went down. I have no idea. Do you know? 62. 62. Yeah. What What does uh, 62 have to do with I, I don't know. I just what? counted them. Oh, you counted this? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <Yeah. laughs> Done with this. The architecture here is so cool. You can go on an architecture tour along with a tour of the landscape of the museum and the facility here. Part of that is this tree where you can take your wristband, your admission, and tie it to one of the many strings that are hanging from the bridge. Give up my wristband and sign it here in this table that they have set up for us. Trees world. Where should we hang this? It's like a kite tail. It is like a kite tail. Success. Success. giving paper back to its source. Guys, that was a really cool adventure into the museum. What did you guys think? What did you think on your first time here? I was Greg? amazed how awesome it was and all the details that are in all the paintings that he did. Yeah.
incredible. Yeah, it was a cool. Now this is not your first time here. No. How many? I, I could what tell is you this? how many times I've been. That was my next question. But you don't no know idea. the answer. I, I've been a member for probably going on a decade now. Man, that is a long time. 2009 was my first visit, and it changed my life. That is, yeah. So, do you have a favorite painting in here? This is a pretty important place to you. The, well, what was it? Oh, well, you put me on the spot. No, I can't remember. <laughs> so I love many. them all. You can't no. pick one. Uh, what is it called though? I've got so many titles in my head now that I'm like, wait, what is that one? Is it the, the weaning of furniture nutrition? It's uh, they've got a little neat uh, photo op thing in here where you can put yourself into that painting, the weaning of furniture nutrition. It's it's a pretty famous one where his uh, his nanny is on the beach and she's got a big hole in her chest, and there's a a, tr a trunk like a piece of furniture next to her that's that shape. Which you kind of saw this in the video, but. It was all four of us, so you probably didn't recognize the painting, the painting. is only like this big, too. Yeah. It's like that's what shocks me is how it's small really they tiny, are yeah, and how much they have inside of them for being so small. So, guys, if if anybody wants to check out your channels, where do they go? Where do they go to see what you're yeah. doing, what you're painting? Take my card, please. <laughs> Screenshot. <laughs> uh, Tampa J. Tampa J. On YouTube. Tampa J. Tampa J. On YouTube. Salvador Van Gogh on YouTube. Greg's Game Room, Atari, Nintendo, like Sega, games? video game, game stuff. Yeah, go check all these guys out. We're not done for the day yet, but we'll, we'll see you around here in just a few minutes. Who are you? Oh, well, these guys know who I am. Is this Dre's World? It is Dre's, Dre's World. World. Yeah. yeah. I love Dre's World. Party Keep on time. kiting. We ended up at the Chataway. This is a St. Pete original. It's one of the oldest restaurants in St. Petersburg. Save the queen. This is the inside of the Chataway. They have tea here, a tea room, and you have to schedule time for a traditional English tea. It happens every day. I think the menu said 11 o'clock. It's a really, really cool place. Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Greg. He owns the Chataway. No, I just told you, Jill married Everett, the original owner of the Chataway. She got with him through Little Theater back in the later 60s. But he doesn't own the Chataway. Well, I'm happy to be a caretaker here for sure. Thank you, brother. Yeah, man. So I've been here a couple times, but tell me some stuff about the Chataway. How long has it been around? Well, the Chataway was built in... 1950, no, 21, sorry about that, there is confusion on that. 1921, it was built when the dirt road ran to catch the ferry. It became the Chataway in 1951. The restaurant it is today, 1951. Cool. What's the deal with the pink bathtubs, Greg? Oh, that was just fun stuff. Probably started in the 70s. Uh, just fun. Cool. What's the deal with the tea room in the well, this like got, I said, they got this cool I, tea room. I think you guys know Jill. My mom is English. Um, so Everett, the original owner, always said, hey, go for it. Do the tea room, do the bath subs. Right on. What do you eat when you're here? Hey, when I came in here when I was 12, I'm 62, I had a chata burger. I had a cup of chili and a Coke, and it's still my favorite to the day. Oh, man. That's what I had today, <laughs> chata burger. <laughs> If it's your first time here, you're going to suggest the chatter burger? Or a veggie burger for all you people uh, out there that, that are vegans. And uh, there's all alternatives, yeah. you know. You got music here all the time? We got music seven nights a week right now. We'd love to have some of the guys from Reggae Rise Up come out. We uh, had uh, uh, Jungle Man Sam play here. Cool. Uh, he's on the Reggae Rise Up tour, and he played here a couple times, so that was cool. Well, Greg, you got a great joint here. Thank you, brother. Yeah, thanks for letting us eat at your restaurant. It's a uh, cool place. I'm thankful to be a caretaker here. Love Good talking to you, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs>
And the handshake, I gotta say, Rastafari <laughs> to myself and the world. <laughs> One love, eternal. One love. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Chili cheers. cheers. Oh. Friends, thanks for watching today. It's been a rad day. Did you guys all enjoy yourselves? Yeah. Tubular. Oh, it was awesome, man. Had Best a, thing to do in Florida. You had a tubular Chill. day? Tubular. It, it was tubular. <laughs> totally. Totally. Galabunga, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. You didn't say it. Say what? what? The, fun, the, you, the thing you always say. Well, I would say... Oh, I say happy flying. Oh, he's gonna come. Oh wait, it's not. It's not. This is gonna make the vlog. No, it's I'm not, not gonna be in his vlog. Thanks, Tampa Jack. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs>